Hey everyone, Tanklement here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to restore an accidentally deleted app from the home screen on your iPhone. So let's get started. So if you can't find the app on your home screen, most likely it's just in the app library, which is the very last page on your iPhone. Here you can see all of the apps that are available. If you pull down, you'll see it in alphabetical order as well. So all in order to add an app that you're missing or you deleted it from the home screen, you're going to find that app. In our case, we have accidentally deleted the TikTok app. So I press and hold and this menu pops up and then there's an option that says add to home screen and it will add it back to your home screen, basically restoring it. Now in a scenario that you do not see it at all in the app library or can't find it, you can also use a search option here to search the name of the app to see if it's installed on your phone. Now if it doesn't show up here, you might have accidentally just deleted from the phone. In that case, you're gonna go to the app store click on your profile up top here and then click on apps and it's going to show all the apps that you have downloaded on your device here and you can also see them where the ones that says that has open they're already installed and the ones that have that iCloud uh, looking thing with the arrow pointing down those are not installed so you can press on it to install it so let's go ahead and install an app right if I wanted to install something I'll just go ahead and simply for example, look through the list here and say, all right, I don't have an app like this. I can just tap on it and it will just begin installing that app. And like I said, if it says the word open, it's already installed. And then you can go ahead and find it. And sometimes when you install an app, it goes to the app library. So you may have to press and hold and then add to home screen to get it add to the home screen just like that. So that's how you do it. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.